coming back onto my YouTube channel. First off, let me just say, please, please, please make sure you subscribe to my channel because it helps me out so, so much. And I appreciate every single one of you. So today, I have invited my lovely friend, Akila. And my sister, Lizzie. <laughs> I've invited them today to talk about their experiences of being a mum. We're all gonna kind of just discuss that. However, we don't want to make it long and boring. So, I asked you guys some questions to ask us some questions on social media, which I've got a list of some of them on my phone, and also I gathered a few together. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, first question, guys. <laughs> How old were you when you had your first child? Um, I was... <laughs> God. <laughs> I was 22. 22? No, I got pregnant when I was 22 and had her when I was 23. And the reason I have to think about it is because she was born two weeks before my birthday. Really? So actually Aww. I was 22 when I had her. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Then I turned 23 like, shortly after. Yeah. And how old were you, Elizabeth? I was 23, weirdly. <laughs> Same By age. the way, I just called her Elizabeth because that's what I always call her, but everyone calls her Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 23. 23. I was flipping 18, as you guys know. I was really young. Anyway, next question. What was your reaction when you found out when you were pregnant? Do you remember <laughs> when I messaged you? When you found out you were pregnant? Yeah. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my oh god, me. <laughs> it was 7 a.m. and I thought, I didn't even think I was pregnant. I just took a pregnancy test because it was very much on watch. And I was like getting ready for work and I was in the shower, I took the test first, I was in the shower and then got out, was brushing my teeth and then I looked down and there was two lines and I was like, what is this? And I literally, it was seven o'clock in the morning so obviously no one's going to answer their phone at that time and I was like messaging Jamal, I was like messaging you, calling oh you, I was calling my cousin and I was like, why is no one answering their phone? And then I'm just like walking like around my room like, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. before even taking a test I know that sounds a bit weird mm -mm. but I took the test and it wasn't actually shown positive straight away but then I thought okay let me just wait a little bit and then take another test mm -hmm. and then I did and then it was came up positive so you just know your body though don't you yeah, yeah. definitely right next question and um, how did you find pregnancy and would you do it again <laughs> Um, well, for me, <laughs> I'm pregnant again, so obviously that Baby answers the question for me. <laughs> but you? I did find the first pregnancy very easy, and now not so easy, so... My first pregnancy was really hard, like, I mean, I didn't have complications or anything, but I was just so lazy. <laughs> I literally, like, my feet hurt, my back hurt, I was tired all the time, I complained all the time, I really think everyone hated me. <laughs> but I just, oh, it was awful, honestly. Oh, like, God. But obviously I enjoyed it as well. Yeah. As well. <laughs> so guys, next question. How was your recovery after giving birth? <laughs> this one's a bit of a <laughs> sticky well, one. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get into too much detail. <laughs> Um, I mean, everyone talks about the birth being the worst part, but for me it was the recovery. No one really says that it's going to be really painful, mm. and yeah. Um. It was painful, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you know, your body kind of makes up for not having a period for nine months, so. Yeah, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> your pants, babies, should know what that feels like. Let's just say, yeah, it makes up for it when you're giving birth. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Were you and your baby daddy together when you fell pregnant and are you still together now? <laughs> so he was that <laughs> For me, um, yeah, we were together. We were still kind of early days, but we were together. And now we're still together now. And I'm expecting my second one. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we were together for eight months, so it was kind of early as well. We're still together, so. Going strong. Going strong still, yeah. 
for me, we were together, but yeah, you guys know, like that didn't work out. But we're civil and we're good now, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, next question. Do you feel like your body changed after you had a child? Hmm. I don't know, like, no, it didn't. Didn't change? Like, I put on a lot of weight during pregnancy, but mm. then after I had the baby, the weight went, like, really fast. Yeah. But yeah, like, no, I didn't. Mm. And for me, personally, I put on no weight during the pregnancy, and then as soon as I had... Cairo, I just put on a whole stone. Oh my god. And now I've lost stone? it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was so weird that you put on quite a little weight and then you just lost it and then you went again. Yeah, now I've just gone again. So I don't it know. just shows like how different your pregnancies are. Yeah. yeah. Like I completely didn't I put on loads of weight and then you didn't put any. Yeah. <laughs> I was the same to me, fair like, I never put any I think I was the same as you, weren't I? I think because like, you was always quite bigger. Bruh. <laughs> in the <laughs> nicest way. <laughs> I thought it was quite bigger. No, I think I lost, you remember just before pregnancy, I lost loads of weight. Oh yeah. And then I fell pregnant and then, do you remember? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember at all. No, I don't. And then after I gave birth, I was literally like, I'd put on loads as well. Yeah. More than before anyway. <laughs> Next question. Did you breastfeed and for if so, for how long and how did you find it? Um... I didn't really get on with breastfeeding. Like when I first had my daughter, her name's India, um, she wanted to feed like constantly. And really? I was waking up, yeah, I was waking up every three hours. So I just needed some sleep. And mm. the midwife was like, okay, um, you can give her formula. And I think that was the best and worst decision because then she just wanted to form it all the time, oh, but then she slept all night, so it was, it was not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I like I tried breastfeeding for a while, and then I'll never forget. Right, I went out in public, and I was nothing was in a pub or something, and I tried to breastfeed, and I literally had put a blanket over like my son's head, you know, like trying to like hide it. And this old mum was like proper staring at me and I felt so embarrassed. Imagine I was only 18 years old mm. then. And then literally like, I was so embarrassed and after that, I was just like, I can't do it anymore. Because, no, 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 that's it. I tried to then start pumping a lot, like um, expressing, sorry. And then it just used to hurt. Oh my God, my nipples so was were so painful. <laughs> then I was like, I can't do breastfeeding anymore. I think that lasted about three weeks. Yeah, three yeah. weeks for me as well, honestly. I'll be trying, but. Yeah, no, I was breastfeeding <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> the first few weeks as well. So yeah, I stopped after about three weeks because Kyra, again, just wanted to breastfeed all the time. And it was just don't so you, tiring. Don't you feel like there's a lot of pressure as well that you need to breastfeed? So yeah. you feel guilty when you're not able to do it. Definitely. But I constantly have that battle of like, People saying you need to breastfeed or else she's, her brain's not going to develop or yeah. she's going to get sick easily, but my daughter's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no. I feel like it's just, it's not for everyone, is it? Like, mm. some people can do it for like years, like literally. Yeah. And then some people just can't do it. But, no, I won't yeah. do it again. <laughs> Next question. Do you want any more children? But um, <laughs> I think this speaks for itself. She's already having a baby number two. <laughs> what about I you? I definitely love kids, so I wouldn't mind having another one in the near future as well. Really? How many do you want? Um, probably like four altogether. I want oh, four as well. Yeah. yeah. I guess I need to start again then. Don't yeah. I? <laughs> um, I mean, my daughter's three now. She's going to be four, and I just feel like she's really independent now. Yeah. So if I was to have another one, I feel like I'm starting all over again. Yeah. yeah. Even though I want to have another one, but I'm not ready. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's nice to have more kids. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. How do you balance work, gym, and your child? Well, I guess that can all apply to us, well, apply to us all, yeah. sorry. But me personally, I feel like I get this question a lot, and like a lot of people say, like always ask me, like, oh, how do you do it? But I feel like if you really want something, like for me, I want to become a barrister, or like I want to like really be fit and stuff, and like, you know, look better. I feel like if you really want something, you'll just do it. And um, 
it, it is hard, like I can't lie, like I study, I work, and I go to the gym. Um, but yeah, like I just do it. Like as well, like lucky for me, I have like a supportive dad and family and stuff. So I do get help with family and stuff, like, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, I guess sometimes as well, like if my son was sleeping in bed, I used to go to gym like early hours in the morning and like, yeah, but yeah, you just do it. I yeah, don't you know just what you guys. A, you just find a way to put it in, don't you? Yeah. Like you said, if you really want it, if you want anything in life, you kind of have to be a bit uncomfortable or sacrifice things yeah. as well. Yeah. So you just find a way if you want it, then you do it. Definitely. But it does really help if you have a supportive family as well. So yeah. like India's yeah. dad really helps me. So if I ever want to go out to the gym or do anything, I know that he'll be able to help me. Yeah. So Yeah, definitely. What are you as well? Um, me personally, when I was going to the gym, again I think it was more my partner as well helping me. So he's mm -hmm. been there at home and I could just go out to the gym. So for me it was just kind of fitting it in when I wanted to and doing something that you really want. Really. Yeah. You know, and even when you didn't have someone to watch your child, you would work out at home or something. Yeah, so yeah, just find a that's way. true as yeah. well. Like when I was doing that 30 day squat challenge that some of you guys <laughs> might have seen on my fitness page, like sometimes I'll just do it at home or at a friend's house, or at a friend's house, or just wherever, like <laughs> literally. Next question What is your main goal as being a parent? And why is that the most important thing to you and your child? <laughs> I think my main goal as a parent is just to guide my child and to help her to be her most authentic self. Yeah. And the way that I do that is just encourage her a lot and look inside myself as well because I think if I'm doing something, she's going to mirror that as well. So I'm always constantly trying to improve myself. Mm -hmm. In return, that helps to improve her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think my main goal is just to help nurture her personality, help her to be the best version of herself. Yeah. So yeah. Definitely, what about you? Um, I would definitely say my main goal is to make sure that my son and my next one never struggles um, financially, physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. So I just always want to be there for my kids. Make sure that they can come to me whenever they mm -hmm. need something in any sort of area and just be the best role model for them really. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I want to make sure that I can be someone that they look up to and they don't have to feel like they have to turn to someone else because they don't feel comfortable yeah. with me. So yeah, yeah, that's really my main goal. I think, I don't feel like there's much more I can add to that. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm probably both in the same position. Yeah. Like, Next question. What would your advice be for someone who is about to have a baby? I feel like you could really answer this because, by the way guys, she does a blog, what is it called? Um, so my blog is called First Time Young Mummy. So that's www.firsttimeyoungmummy.com. <laughs> Can we do that again? Because I don't know why everyone's like first. Time. Like, it sounded like a commercial. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't say it and then not say it was a website. I always like throw that in. What's the website? <laughs> so the website for my blog is www.firsttimeyoungmummy.com and I just literally blog about anything. So things to do with sleeping, things to do with how to feed your baby. <laughs> That's <a> really <laughs> By the way guys, I'm going to add it down below in case you didn't hear it. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to the blog. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, is there anything else you want, want to add? Yeah, so uh, I just basically talk about loads of different things. I talk about the pregnancy, I talk about my first pregnancy, I've got my labour story on there. So for those new mums that want to see labour mm -hmm. and how to experience it and what to experience, I put my story on there. I've also put things such as living with a newborn, living with a toddler, and going on holiday for your first holiday, just different things that I've experienced as a mum really. And if you just want to have more insight and just want to get to know it a bit more, then yeah, definitely check it out. I think she has a lot to say. So guys, basically, please look at her blog, yeah. basically, please look at it and you can get a, a lot of advice on there and little tips and stuff, so yeah. And what do you think? Like, is there anything else you want to add? Or? And I think as a new mum, you're going to have, or a new dad, um, you're going to have a lot of people tell you how to raise your child for decisions you need to make. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and like, everyone's going to have their opinions and everyone's going to have like 20 different opinions on one subject. And yeah. I think you need to do 
what feels right for you and your yeah. baby. Mm. And that's something I struggled with a lot as a new mum because you have people come in telling you what to do yeah. who were mums before and they thought that was the right way. But really and truly, your way is right as well because you're never going to do anything that is going to hurt your child. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, just trust your instincts. Go with your instincts, basically. basically yeah. yeah, and don't feel pressured. Yeah. One thing I was going to say though. Even though you should trust your instincts, it is good to listen to certain advice. Mm. For me personally, I read a book that you lent me mm. with 12 weeks, 12 hours sleep by 12 weeks. Now, because I read that book and got some advice off that lady, I was then able to tr sleep train my child from 12 weeks, well, from six weeks actually, and then by 12 weeks he was sleeping through the night. So again, yes, trust your instincts, but it's okay to take advice yeah, be sometimes. open to advice but yeah. don't be pressured into making yeah. decisions I feel you're like, comfortable with yeah definitely I feel like because I was so young like I was pressured a lot and like I just kind of went along with it I didn't mm. really trust my instincts much so like I didn't do that train sleep training thing and my son like ended up waking up for a bottle every single night for like two years oh, literally yeah. my sleep was ruined like <laughs> and i've just kept giving it giving it to him so i just thought oh but he must be hungry but it was literally just a habit like yeah, okay. so i'm okay what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mum oh, <laughs> <laughs> well the fact that you've got like a little human being to the Carter and the fact that they just love you unconditionally like it's an amazing feeling like that they just love you like no matter what <laughs> like, really it's amazing because like when I pick my daughter up from nursery the way she like gets up from wh whatever she's doing she just runs to me she like jumps oh, so in. Cute. Like, <laughs> and literally oh, that's amazing I <laughs> and it's good to tell them you appreciate that sort of stuff yeah, yeah because of I don't have to think that I don't like yesterday I was like well I really appreciate when you do that it makes me feel really happy that oh, you, like, you want to see so me cute. Yeah. but yeah like I think just yeah having a little human and that is like loves you. yeah loves you yeah yeah definitely yeah you. definitely having a little human that loves you unconditionally yeah. definitely yeah and just having someone that looks up to you just knowing that everything you do everything you say they're mm -hmm. just watching you so it's so good to be able to reevaluate your actions and what mm -hmm. you're doing as well yeah that's so true, that's true. Mm. okay guys next question um, what is something that having a child has taught you? Patience. Mm. Patience, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's true. Patience, yeah. Okay. Oh my God, anything else? Um, I'll definitely say being understanding because sometimes you want to see it from your point of view, but when you have kids, you have to kind of mm. take them into consideration and just understand why they're acting the way they are or why they're behaving yeah. in a certain mm. way. So you have to be very understanding. Um, you have to be a very good listener as well because you have to be able to listen to certain things or maybe not in my position because obviously my son can't really talk that much but when they can talk sometimes they are trying to speak out to you and are trying to say mm. something to you so yeah, you definitely, definitely have to listen to them mm. and hear them out and just love them really yeah mm -hmm. last question <laughs> okay how have you changed as a person since becoming a mum I mean, I'd definitely say I'm a lot more mature. Like, I had to grow up at oh 18. Gosh, yeah. Like, oh my god, like, literally a lot more mature. And I think mm -hmm. I've learned so much as well just being a mum. But I'd definitely say maturity. It's changed a lot, <laughs> honestly. And like, you just lo look at things differently as well, don't you? Just see things differently and just like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. It's just the way you see the world and things like that mm -hmm. like everything's just so different to you mm -hmm. it really is i just feel like after becoming a mum my whole perspective on life has completely changed mm -hmm. like before i was okay having a nine to five job and i thought that was just my life and yeah. i would do that but now i just feel that if i was to just restrict myself to that sort of reality then i'm restricting my daughter as well i want her yeah. to see that there's so much more to life mm -hmm. and it's changed my perspective on that yeah so yeah do you know what um i'll add to that like i definitely feel like like having my son as well like he motivated me so much like mm -hmm. i feel like he motivates me to go to uni to work to go to the gym mm -hmm. like 
let's be honest, like, I was a little terror, like, when I was a child, uh, you all know that, I'm a good bunch for that, and you actually, like, yeah, I we all know what I was like, like, I was just wiling out, but, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, having him, I feel like, in a way, it was a good thing that happened to me at the age, because it really, like, buckled me down, basically, yeah. and, yeah, like, I started working really hard, mm. I then decided to go to uni, um, I don't feel like I would have done those things if I yeah didn't have a child. I don't know. Yeah. Just because my perspective on things were different back then. Yeah. Like, I didn't even ever want to go to uni. Like, that was just the way my mind was. But Do you not feel like becoming a mum builds mental strength as well? Because... Oh, my God, that's so true. Literally, like, when you're sick, you haven't got time to be sick. Yeah. Like, you need to look after your child. Like That's so not. true. <laughs> And it's so hard, but you find a way to do it. And I remember before I had my daughter, if I was sick, I'd just lay in bed all day and I'd just, like, be lazy. But now I just force myself to get up. And even if you've been down or something, you force yourself to smile. Yeah. 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 Anyway, guys, this is the end of our little discussion, should we say. I hope you guys have liked this video. And by the way, I'm starting a new series called Girl Talk. And this is one of the first of many. Um, I'll be discussing lots of different things, girly things. And if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, please comment below or DM me. I will add my socials down below. But yeah, make sure you check out my sister's blog. And also, Akila will be having her own YouTube soon, won't you? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> but, um, I definitely have to do it now. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah. But I'm gonna add her socials down below as well, so you guys can check her out and make sure you follow her. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, bye, guys.